Welcome to Finding Ghosts of the Past, Episode 1. We had heard rumors of an aircraft graveyard near an airfield that was used to train World War II pilots. After some research to establish the best possible area, we set off to find out if we were right and found eight aircraft fuselages that have been sitting abandoned for 80 years. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel and watch until the end where we will uh, list the four models of aircraft we found and mention a possible future episode. All right, well, let's go find some airplanes, Charlie. Head on in. I'll let you spook up the snakes before I do. Usually for something like this, I'm actually wearing uh, cargo pants and uh, Ankle garters. Yeah. Those asphalt, they were probably okay. Asphalt here. Tell it's been used to dump lots of stuff more than once. I'd almost be willing to bet those stones are part of the old buildings. Probably because there's concrete here. It's kind of hard to tell, but they've definitely been all carried over here and dumped here. Here's a little piece of... That almost looks like that might actually have been off of an airplane. It's kind of hard to tell, but... See what I mean by the size of the rivet holes? I mean, that, and that could very well have been off of an airplane right there. Look at that. Right there. Man, that's going to be a mess to get to. Oh, crap. Look right here. I almost stepped on it. Well, I'm not sold that's part of an airplane. Because look at the thick. Well, the castle nuts tell me that that is. But I ain't really sure. That could be. That could be. Well, you know what? That is. Isn't this... In this part of the motor mount right here? So this would be the front, literally the front of the fuselage? Well, what do we have here? This is part, this is definitely part of an airplane. Yeah. It sure is. Yeah. Right here. Oh, wood wings. I'll bet this bolted through the spar. So the wood's rotten, yeah, so I'll bet that was going through the spar. <laughs> yeah, I am, ain't I? Right? Oh, God. found me some thorns. There's a number. No. Found a tag? No, I didn't find an ID plate, but look at this. That looks like that's where the prop bolted on. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look to me like it could possibly be a wheel mount. But I'm not really sure. Well, that number right there should tell us something. No. No, not the prop. That was me being stupid. Sorry. Well, that's not got to be something to do with the strut because of the way it bolts here. Well, and there's your foothold. You see the D-ring for your foot? Yeah. Shoot, there's, we didn't have to go very far just to find this one. Let's see what all's left of this. There's all kinds of other crap in and amongst here too. Cable. Ow. Here, Charlie. 
There's one with some wood on it still. Seriously? There's still some wood here. Well, I'm going to give you this if I can get it out. Looky there. That's got to be... Well, there's two pieces right there. I'll bet that's a spar. I'll bet that's a spar mount. I really think it is. Because look at how it tapers. So this is the part that bolted up next to the fuselage. See what I'm saying? And this was the part that went farther out. There's two spar connecting. Everywhere. All right, now, before I stumbled across that, you said something else. Let me climb through this vine here. Now here's an old gas can they used for target practice. <laughs> Oh, guess what? You're gonna love this. This one's still got the mag switch. Look right here. And look, the fuel selector valve too. Yep. The aluminum's holding up good. Yeah. So there is some pieces left on these. And like I said, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that these are actually parts to J5 Cubs. Well, there's a mag switch and a fuel selector valve we didn't know anything about previously. Is that part of the tail? That's where you said the wood was still connected, didn't you? Yeah. Well, let's. Okay. But there, this piece up here, the aluminum. That's where the wood was at. Yeah. There's some more Look at this. Now let's think about that for a second. Okay, so this still got the wood in it. I'm not really sure how that connected to the aircraft. My assumption was that these were the spar bolts. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not really sure what. But that, could that, no, that can't be the tail of the aircraft. Tell you what, I'm stumped. I got nothing, but we do have a part number off of that one. Are there any part numbers on this? Mm. Nothing on that. that. Ow! It'd really be nice to find an ID tag. No, no part numbers anywhere. Grew on to it. This is still part of the, I'm assuming, spar. Oh, part number. Right there. I got a little bit. See if we can get in. Is there anything on this side? No, it's rusty solid. 62809. 62809. Good. These are both of these are. Yeah, well, you better might be 62909. Either 809 or 909. Okay. Well, that'll give us something. I just, I really think that this fuel selector valve is pretty freaking cool, too. <laughs> the fact that the wires are still connected to the mag switch. Yep, sure is. Flight control cable. You got it. That, I would say, was cut. Okay. Okay, is that the, that would be the t top of the fuselage going like that? What do you think? Maybe. Yeah, that would be the side. 
there's a, I think it's, a, it's probably the cables that went through controlling the ailerons, maybe. There's I don't a big know. pulley right down there. Aluminum pulley, see it? Yeah. All right. Well, there's one or parts of more than one. Over here. What are you Straight seeing? ahead. I'm looking. Oh, I see. Yep. Man, Charlie, you've got good eyes. Only with my glasses are on. <laughs> <laughs> that a blind as a bat. Well, you're definitely doing better than me. Yeah, this one's pushed off into the two. There's another one, three, right there. Is that part of a car or part of a? That's part of a car. That's a headlight. The fender, ain't it? Ooh, be careful. Oh, Charlie, you know what you just tripped on? No. A strut, a wing strut. Looky there. <laughs> That's a, 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 a freaking wing strut right there. Oh, Check wow. it out. Hey, Jesse, here's just some spare parts. Well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's a wing strut. Sure is. I mean, it's all rusted and gone on this end, but looky there. That is a wing strut. Mm. Yeah, there's the headlight. This is You're right. This is a fender off of the late yeah. 40s, maybe. Who knows? It kind of tells us how long this stuff's been out here. Okay, this, this one is pretty beat up. Okay, there's there's the cockpit. There's the, yeah, because there's the control right there. See yeah. the control pivot? Yeah. So there's the control pivot. This. I'm guessing this would be the top, and maybe through this hole here is where the. Uh, Oh, you've got a control. Yeah. Oh. Heck. Look here. Pieces right here. So yeah, that's definitely part of the control. Control yoke. That was off an engine, you know? I know I've seen those before. That's the uh, oil, uh, what they call it? Not an oil reservoir, but uh, they bolt like on the bottom of Continentals. Maybe we'll find an engine that way out here. Well, now that would be something. We'd have to take that back with us tonight. <laughs> now, is that brush pile man-made over there? Uh, it could be water moved it. Because yeah. water's gonna be flowing that direction. Yeah, let's see if there's anything over there. Oh, look, yeah, that seriously grew into this. I'd like to find one that's complete enough. I could see if it's, if I'm actually right about it being a J5 Cub, you know? Oh! Check that out. For the control pivots, they used like a. Wood? Well, it's not wood. It's a. It's a block of. I'm. I'm trying to remember. Bake. No, I don't think it's bakelite. But you know what I'm talking about. They use some kind of a pivot there. Here's your. Here, look. There's your foot brake. Your heel brake on both of those, right there. All right. So if that's the. Okay. So. That was the pulley that we saw over there buried in the ground, that right there. So this is the front of the aircraft because the, you know, that's, yeah, that's the way your brakes are gonna be setting for sure. There's a piece of it right there, huh? There's pieces. Oh, looky here. They're all pretty close together. Yeah. Well, I would think they really wouldn't want to you know, if they've got a trash pile going, they're just going to want to go to the vat yeah. and push it off, not carry it six feet down or 20 feet down the way. Got the tail to it. Okay, this is, should be enough that I could actually ID if it's a J5 cover knot, which I think it is. 
If this one is, then I guarantee you all the other pieces are also a J5 cub, don't you think? I have no idea what they had out here, but you assume that they trained consistently with the same aircraft. I'm going to do a little bit of digging back here in the tail. Oh, there's starter saw, or I assume it's a start solenoid. Could be a, just a power solenoid, the master solenoid. Okay, so if there's an ID plate on this, ah, it's so rusted. Yeah. If I can pull up on it. No, you don't you have to. Drink. That's a clean cut. Look, they cut that before they threw it away. Yeah. See, it's it's actually not connected to anything because it's all rusted off. And the data plate probably would have been like right there or right there on either side. There's your hand hold. More aluminum tubing. But again, I have to say, all right, these things make me think it is probably a J5 Cub because they had the little very thin metal which formed the, uh, the deck going across the back. You follow what I'm saying? So, right. So I'll bet these are J5 Cub. I'll bet they are. One of the things that'll tell us for sure is if the uh, um, the rudder upright is uh, dismountable because these weren't cut. It had, you know, the vertical stabilizer fit right in and was bolted in place. You follow what I'm saying? So that'll help us figure out what model it is. Because the, like the, J, I think it was the J3 maybe. Well, let's say a PA18, 1950s. That was all one assembly. I, I, there was a cutoff time where they started making the vertical uh, stabilizer part of the fuselage instead of removable. That was a deer. Or Sasquatch. Maybe we'll find Sasquatch too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, down here in the creek bottom. Yeah, let's go. It's significantly easier. Hey, there's a walnut. Another old oil can, another maybe possibly piece of aircraft right there. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. This is what I'm thinking is probably parts, probably parts of a BT-15, I think. Whoa, looky here. We've still got parts of the canopy. See the plexiglass? Oh, looky here. There you go. We, have a... we have an instrument panel. Look at this. Hot damn. Look at that. God damn all this shit in my Okay, wait. Well. Okay, the instrument panel is still connected. Oh, oh, this is all part. Okay. Yes, this is all one piece. Okay. Well, that's probably got to be trim. It'd be up top. Doesn't say. Okay, look. Let's get a good video. Yeah, I would say that was a tr some kind of trim. Well, you wouldn't, I don't they think they'd have you crank. I don't think you'd have a crank flap. I really don't. Okay, I know for a fact 
This is not a Cub. It's not a BT-13 or 15 because this is a side-by-side. -side. This is the fuselage. They sat here looking at it, or I mean the cockpit. You follow what I'm saying? This would have been above the pilot's head. This would have been above the co-pilot's head. And here's what they were looking out of. And here's their instrument panel. You, you get what I'm saying? And they cut this. They cut it all out. Yeah. There's two or three of these here. Well, this is different. This right here is definitely different. This was a big aircraft. Now this could have been a part to a BT-13. Hold on. Oh, that is in there. That ain't moving. I'm not really sure. That We need to do some digging on this. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. So that part I found immediately, that was part of an airplane, because there's another one. And there's some more tubing. Yep, I see it. Okay, here's... Yeah. It's hard telling how much has been grown up and is now, oh, under... Buried in the dirt. Looky here, this is the wiring for this aircraft. Here's some pulleys. Yep. They've been gone for a while. Okay, that was a, whatever this was, it was a big aircraft. Look at some of this stuff here. Look at how many wires were on this. I have a hard time believing that's World War II. I guess it could be. I'm kind of leaning that direction, Charlie. I hate to say it. Okay, so what's keeping this in place? Aha! Uh -huh. Ah, oh, we didn't bring any penetrating oil. I bet I could have got that cover off if we would have brought some penetrating oil. Okay, so we know, we've just ID'd the fact that there is a third model aircraft in here. So we've got three different types of aircraft for sure. This one, is the one that I think is probably a BT-13 or 15. Ah, oh. you don't suppose they ever had a twin, had a what? twin engine here? I have no idea. Well, look, I'm looking, I'm seeing all of these connectors and the, the boxes and all this stuff. And I'm feeling, I'm wondering if, I wonder if we don't have some kind of twin tra trainer. Now it's obviously not a bamboo bomber, you know? Cause I mean, from the, you know, they're basically gone. They're made out of bamboo, yeah. but. Oh shoot, here's, here's more of all of this laying here. That's gotta be, we've gotta have three different types of aircraft here, but what? Okay, so this was at one time connected to something wood. And it's a screw jack of some kind, see? And we've got the chain coming off this way. So was this elevator or rudder trim off of something really freaking big? You know, work with the uh, chain from the cockpit? Okay, we've got more wood right here. So, what 
Wait. Okay, hold on. Bamboo Bomber was a twin. The gear come out from the engine compartments, didn't it? And it would have bolted. Ah, look. Rudder control sure is. I got it, Charlie. I'm not sure what it is. But what? here's what. So the wooden spars fit right in here, okay? And then this was somehow connected to that. But this, this was definitely at least a twin engine aircraft. You follow what I'm saying? And this was probably, I, I feel like this was the landing gear retract. So this is part of a completely well, different aircraft. Well, could have, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd have to look, I don't honestly know. Okay, here's some Zeus keys. So that's off of an aircraft for sure. Now this is the one that I really feel is probably a BT-13 or 15. I don't think I don't well there's part of the seat and there's part of the seat belt right there okay all right ooh Controls locked. Is there a part number? Yes, there's a part number. Two zero zero two three. Here's another part number. I don't. That's part of the cable. Okay. Brake master cylinder. Maybe. Yeah, and. Uh, and three different models. Okay, that's just broke off. Okay, so we can figure this one out by looking at the cockpit of a steerman, looking at the cockpit of a BT-13. Because the, uh, you know what? This might be a steerman. Remember the crank? There it is. There's the engine crank. That might very well be actually part of the steerman sitting there. Yep. So this one probably is part of a steerman. A good sized chunk of a steerman, actually. Those are off of something else. And they've got to be a twin. I'm certain that they're a twin of some kind. I don't know what, but so we've got. Steerman, J5 Cub, some kind of twin. I need to look at the cockpit on a uh, bamboo bomber, see if it matches that plexiglass pattern over there. That'll tell us. Get a good picture of it. I think so, but I'll get another one here in a minute. But that will tell us there could be three models of aircraft in here, and, and what do you say we're on number five or number six total? Well, I think five. Okay. And this is another one that I think is, is part of a cub. Oh. Didn't see the seat. Well, look, there's ah, there's paddles. yep, there's the there is. Yeah, there's the heel heel brake and the rudder pedals right there. Oh, look at the control. Yep. We've got the control right there, still there. There's cut off or rusted off part of the rear control. And they they cut it here and here and here and here. Now that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I'm trying to figure out why they cut that like that. Maybe so nobody would take it back in the day? Who knows? Been. Could have been. All right. See anything in that direction or should we just go this direction? Cut on down this more trash. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah, I'd say you're right. Looks like a bias fly tire. Hey, what are you stepping on with your right foot? Well, it looks like something. Is that just sticks? Oh, okay. I thought it was pipe. So have I, and didn't know it. There's another one. Yeah. Washed into the creek. But let's look at the seat. And this is the, uh, I'm pretty sure that this was at one time a control, yep, a control tube. It's just not supposed to be bent like that. Controlling around the corner. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to. But yeah, from the, from the ends on this, I would say that was definitely a control tube at one time. Probably ran through a wing for an aileron or something. And there's another piece of a very thin sheet metal over there that also most likely was part of an aircraft. All right, here's the seat. Fiberglass seat. Kind of hard to tell. I hate to, I'm going to go ahead and, no, vinyl. Vinyl covered because it's got the cloth on the back. Did they, I think they had vinyl during World War II, didn't they? Yeah. I'm, sorry, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But, yep. Yeah. That's true. Until we tripped over it. Where did I point that one out? It was over here somewhere, wasn't it? This one? Oh, right here. Well, now look at this. That curve piece there has me baffled. I'm pretty sure from the looks of things that was part of an airplane, but what kind? Oh, that's the back of the seat. That is the back of the seat. <laughs> okay. See it? It's still connected to the cockpit. Yep. This has been broken, re right there has been broken, re-welded at one point. No, no, just the way the rust looks. But yeah, that's the back of the seat. The rest of this, that's the whole seat right there. Unfortunately, part of it's gone. But there's a seat that somebody set in 80 years ago or more. Well, you want to keep looking? Hey, that seat all the way to the scene of the accident. Yeah, that's true. That's true. What do we got there? Oh, that's an old uh, uh, boiler. Oh, hey, right here in front of me, <laughs> there's another one. Yep, and this is the front of it right here. Yeah, now this is the part that's going to tell me. Well, wait, what's that? Check it out. These had the old glass fuses in them. Bus fuse? Yep. Well, no, not bus fuse. It's the old glass fuse. There we go. Screw in like in the house? Uh, just pop in like in 19... Uh, oh. Well, like in my Chevy truck. I hate to admit oh, okay. that. Well, there's part of a hydraulic one in too. Okay, so this is the most common aircraft we keep seeing. You know, with this particular setup right here. Well, there's a engine bolt. There's still got the engine bolts in it, or motor mount bolts. And you said that's part of. There's a control stick right here. Yeah, that's part of a rudder pedal. Sure is.
Yeah, it is. Part of the control cable on the pulley. Now, uh, do you remember if that stick, the, the control we already looked at, was that front or back? It, it the maybe. last one we had, it was bent, got a curve in it, was front. It was front? And it had a straight okay. one on the back side. Well, right. We found eight aircraft fuselages that have become ghosts of the past. We found Piper J5 Cubs. We found Taylor Craft L2 uh, Grasshoppers, Stearman Model 75, and a Cessna T-50 Bobcat, better known as the Bamboo Bomber. For a future episode, we plan to retrieve two of these fuselages and preserve them for future generations to see, depending on donated funding. We have quite a few other ideas for upcoming episodes, and if you have any ideas, please comment below and we'll take it into consideration. Additionally, please like this video and subscribe to this channel to help this uh, grow and get out to as many people as possible. Feel free to share the link as much as you can.